Our first dive here at Palau has brought us to a very interesting little place called Ingalong Island. This particular dive starts at about 12 to 13 meters and drops off to a very sandy bottom at about 20 22 meters. The visibility was probably the most impressive thing about our first dive. The drop-off itself is not a steep wall drop-off, it was just a slight gentle drop down towards this sandy bottom and covered in different species of fish. Lots of them obviously uh, unknown to us, but a lot of the fish that we did see today were fish that we have seen. A lot of the fusiliers, a lot of the snappers, lots of the clownfish as well. And the corals were also very interesting and different. Almost nobule layered across these limestone rocks. Lots of staghorn corals, lots of plate corals as well. And again, forming the perfect hiding place or perfect refuge for lots of the juvenile fish. And it's the little bluefin kingfish that seem to really prey on these animals, darting in and amongst and chasing them, trying to get at them and feed off them. What was a bit disappointing for me on this first dive was the lack of color. Everything seemed to be a little bit brown, sort of towards the top. But beautiful structures and beautiful little cracks and gullies that you find here. Apparently during the El Nino times, the, the water got exceptionally warm here and there was a lot of coral bleaching and a lot of the coral had died off and you can see a lot of the rubble lying on the bottom. And perhaps this is a cause for the lack of color in, these, in the corals in the top in the first sort of 10 meters of water. A very interesting pair of fish, the blotched uh, soldier fish, and just to the bottom is the harlequin sweet lips, which is that very yellow fish with black dots on them. And what's probably one of the main features here in Palau on these dives are these huge big sea fans that stick out into the open water where they obviously are filter feeding. The little anemone fish, very similar to the nose striped anemone fish, but with one single bar behind its gills. And then the strangest animal that we found was the sea slug, slowly moving across the bottom with some very interesting camouflage. It was a great first dive for us and uh, now that everything's right and ready, we, we got to prepare for some deeper wall dives and into the outer fringe reef dives. So that's going to be some great diving. <laughs>